Now we'll start a new series where we'll be discussing various topics that could be helpful for your answer writing in optional papers for GS as well as geography. Miyawaki forest is a unique technique and this technique was developed by Japanese scholar Miyawaki. He was a PhD student and later with the help of one of the professors from Germany, he started the concept of potential natural vegetation where the idea was growing natural vegetation without human interference. And under this Miyawaki forest, the whole idea is to develop an urban afforestation area so this urban afforestation area would be unique in its kind because there would be few important things to mark. One is this would prove as a ground for carbon sequestration. A lot of carbon dioxide could be absorbed in the region. Studies have revealed the Miyawaki forest which is a dense forest vegetation within an urban area would reduce the temperature by nearly 1.3 degrees Celsius in certain areas. Also, this would be a oasis for various vertebrates, invertebrates and different species. But on the other hand, there are certain disadvantages. Since all the trees are planted at a given point of time, one important thing to note is usually a forest takes 300 years to develop as a dense forest under the, using this Miyawaki technique. This forest area could be developed only in a period of 30 to 35 years. That means we are stimulating the rate at which the forest growth takes place. But all the seeds and all the vegetation would be sown at the same time. That implies that all the vegetation would be of the same age group. So there would be a monotonous population with a common age group that would be seen. So that's one of the drawbacks that is witnessed. Another important thing that we need to understand with this Miyawaki technique is that this region would increase the carbon dioxide emissions by nearly 300 times, would make the region dense nearly 30 times than a normal forest. The growth rate of the trees would be 10 times faster. And as we said, there are several species which are grown in a close area and most of them are native species. Now what is the benefit of growing the native species? The major benefit is they are resilient to the atmosphere, to the climatic conditions of the region and as a result their probability to survive is high. So probability in case of survival would be higher for these native species. Also, uh, when we have seen that the other planting projects are failing, this could be a successful project. We have seen this in the case of Mediterranean regions. Uh, there would be higher biodi biodiversity as compared to other regions. Now, what is three, four important things that we need to understand? The first is planting density. That means at least three to five trees per meter square would be grown very closely packed and 90% of what is grown would survive. So 90% survival rate which is very high. The, the growth rate we would understand is around 1 meter per year. That means in 20 years it would reach a height of 20 meters which is the optimal height. And as we said potential natural vegetation is another objective that Miyawaki uh, focused on and this object according to Akira Miyawaki was an object where uh, we are trying to grow vegetation and natural vegetation without any human interference. Akira Mayawaki, Miyawaki has also been one of the award winners of the Blue Planet Award. His work on afforestation, conserving soil, water and air and climate um, remediating processes have been extremely important. Now, what he did when he came back from Germany to Japan, he started this idea of potential natural vegetation. He found out the areas which were closer to shrines and temples and there he uh, find out the vegetations which was locally called as Chinju no Mori. Chinju no Mori means the sacred grooves. Now these sacred grooves were the major idea behind his work. So when he was growing this Miyawaki forest, 
he thought that rather than using uh, the the large trees the conifers the cedars what he would have is the chinchonomori um along with the blue oak japanese chestnut uh, sakaki as some of the common trees which would be grown in those areas and this growth would be in different layers the topmost layer would be the canopy layer where some of the trees would reach and this canopy would protect the lower species and as a result the weeds won't grow again important interesting thing is if 3 years it works then it becomes self sustaining by should be added to soil under this technique this is interesting so three important things which would be added one is perforator now perforator helps to improve the perforation and it allows the roots to grow very very quickly in the soil so plant roots would grow very quickly because of the use of perforator there are water retainers they help the soil to maintain adequate amount of moisture uh what is used is cocoa peat along with that sugarcane stock is used the next is nourishment material organic fertilizers and mulch is used as nourishment material now by adding these to soil the growth increases and therefore the trees are able to grow at a faster pace so important use of perforator nourishment material and water retainer that means if the tree is there growing su su successfully for 3 years it would be in a position to self sustain itself and the future growth would be defined now this is a sample database which is created now here you have various species the botanical name the local name and the english name the type of the species their advantages the first advantage could be let's say medicinal or fruits the second advantage could be birds the height of the tree the layer it would occupy so the topmost layer would be the emergent followed by tree layer sub tree layer and the shrub layer on the lower levels how much they are available and in what proportion so native varieties would be identified as shrub sub tree tree and emergent the quality quality of the soil would be assessed and also the ground would be covered with a thick layer of mulch which would be one of the major nutritional material along with organic fertilizers vermicomposting goat manure cow manure uh, also young saplings could be put put as mulch so those all provide nourishment material so this is what is added to the soil and this is a very important technique extensively use these days in india as well numerous um, yeah, patches or land parcels in the urban areas being developed on this line are there so this is what we have discussed in this session uh, section if you have any questions you can leave those in the comment below and also feel free to post uh, comments related to new topics relevant to gs would you which we we would like to be covered and also note that these are certain important case studies which you must suffice in your answer writing while you are answering the mains answer copies wish you very good luck do follow the links below for more information have a wonderful